One of my favorite aspects of Cardiff is its green spaces. Here are some of the ones I go to the most. Butte Park is the largest park in Cardiff. It's right behind Cardiff Castle and it's a lovely place to walk through. It tends to get very busy when it's sunny outside. You see many people going for a picnic or playing games, which is always amazing to see. It has this large grass area where you can come with friends or by yourself and enjoy the sunny days. Since it's so big, it's very cycle friendly. You'd always see a lot of people on bikes when the weather is nice. I love that every time you walk through the park, you see ducks as well as squirrels, which makes my trip even more enjoyable. As you cross the bridge from Butte Park, you get to Sophia Gardens. There is a path that searches along River Taff on which you can walk, run or cycle. At times when it's quiet, you can hear the birds singing, which makes you feel like you're in a forest. In these fields, people come to play with their dogs and it's also frequently used for sports. This bridge, which is only a few minutes walk from the previous one, takes you back to Butte Park in a peaceful area surrounded by trees. Alexandra Gardens is close to Butte Park and behind the Cardiff University main building. In spring, after the trees bloom, it becomes this beautiful place to come for a walk. Around April, you can see a lot of people coming here to take pictures or even just come to sit down and enjoy the views. In the center, you can find the Welsh National War Memorial, which commemorates those who have died in the First World War. It's also where graduates usually go to take pictures after their ceremony and it's featured in many Cardiff University pictures and videos as well. It's definitely a place you don't want to miss when you come to Cardiff. This is a lovely green area in front of the National Museum Cardiff. I usually walk through here whenever I go to the Students' Union because it's a calming space. During warm days, you'll see many people enjoying the sun or walking through the gardens. It also has this cute coffee shop where you can stop for a break. The lighthouse became a landmark for Roth Park. Although it's slightly further from the city centre, it's a messy park in Cardiff. It has a quite vast wildlife and you'll see swans, ducks and geese swimming in the lake. Most times, they will also walk around the park, which is very fun and interesting to experience. I love walking here because it's very relaxing. You don't feel like you're in the city since you're surrounded by nature, the lake and birds. You can also walk around the lake, which doesn't take very long. There's always something surprising to see in Roth Park and it's definitely worth the trip there. Kevnan is a lovely park at the northern edge of Cardiff, slightly further than the other ones. However, you can get there by train. I'd say it's the most relaxing part in Cardiff because it's less crowded and the only sounds you hear are birds, water and the wind. If you love nature and exploring places, you should definitely go there because you'll feel like you're in a forest. It's unlike other parks in Cardiff, it's full of interesting trees and flowers and it's a place that's definitely worth seeing. Hope you enjoy exploring these green spaces with me and I'll see you in another video.